Hey there, this is Robin, and today I wanted to share an exercise with you that I've found to be very helpful in my life and to maximize my happiness, fulfillment, and potential. So, here's the exercise. You can do this first thing upon awakening, or you can do it between activities in your day. And here's what you do. <clears throat> I like to close my eyes and put my hand over my heart to connect to the stillness within, but you can connect to the stillness within you however however you see fit but that's just uh, an idea and it works pretty nice so you do that you get you you know take some deep breaths get a little quiet and you ask yourself what would be the most delightful way i could spend my time right now you know you could you could do that thinking about you know the next 5 minutes the next 10 minutes or you know if you have the day just what would be the most delightful, what would be the most inspiring, joyful way I could spend my day. So doing that, when you have a block of time, whether it's five minutes, whether it's an hour, whether it's the whole day, it's powerful. It's very powerful. What it does is it gets you out of that, that lower mind space. It gets you out of that should space. I should do this and this and this. You know, most of us, we're walking to-do lists. Every day, we are just so caught up in all the things that we should do, all the things that we have to do. And yeah, you know, we do have to do those things sometimes. But we can't live our lives like that completely. If we do that, we're just automatons. We're just living in routine. We're just uh, getting stuff done, but we're not really enjoying ourselves and living up to our potential. We're not, uh, we're not living our best lives. So doing this, this exercise is great. It reminds us to look at what our heart is calling us to do, you know, rather than just always focusing on what the mind wants us to do, what the mind tells us we should do. So it's so important to get in touch with that inner stillness for so many reasons, but one of them is because our inner stillness knows what we most love, it knows what we most desire, it knows what our purpose is, and it can guide us if we let it. But we have to get still to hear the guidance, okay? That's the first step. And the second step is we need to listen to the guidance and follow it. Even if you just have five minutes, you know, if the thing that would most delight you is to take a walk, just go on a five minute walk, you know? If the thing that would most delight you is to paint, you know, get a painting started or maybe like, you know, if you don't have time to do the painting right then, you know, get a pencil and paper and just kind of sketch what you want to paint. Like do something in the direction of that thing that delights and inspires you. Because you know what? We don't know how many lives we live. I personally think that we live a bunch, but who knows? Maybe this will be my last one, so I want to enjoy it. And even if it's not my last one, I want to make this the best possible life that I have because this is the only time I'm going to be here in this body as Robin T. Wiley. Um, <laughs> so I want to live it up as Robin T. Wiley, you know? I want to, um, on my deathbed, I want to look back and be like, hey, I really enjoyed life. I really did some great things. I really gave back and helped people. And one of the things about this too, if you allow yourself to live joyfully, if you do practices like this and you get in touch with what delights you and inspires you and you do those things, not only are you going to feel more joy and more fulfillment in your own life, in your day-to-day -day life, but you're also going to have an added element of purpose to your life. And since you are going to have a more full cup yourself, you're going to have so much more to give other people. Okay? When you're coming from a place of lack, when you are coming from a place of always giving, giving, giving to others and not giving to yourself, then, you know, ultimately you're going to get burnt out. You're probably going to be resentful. You're not going to have as much to give. Your relationships will suffer. Every area of your life is going to suffer. But when you do take the time and when you take the time regularly to get in touch with the stillness inside of you and then you follow the guidance that you get and you do what makes your heart sing, man, life just becomes magical, okay? It just becomes amazing in your day to day long term even greater things happen and you know you're just gonna have so much more to give to the world to other people in your life and you're just gonna radiate a higher energy a more positive energy and you're just gonna have all the more influence over everyone and everything in your life so since we all influence the world around us and we all influence the people around us we might as well make it a good influence right and one of the ways to do that is to make yourself happy and to follow your heart and this exercise is a great way to do just that. So I hope that today you try this exercise and you do something that delights you, whether it's for a few minutes or a few hours. Just make it happen, no more excuses. Make it happen because it's an investment for you, for your personal happiness and well-being, 
for your relationships and everything, every aspect of your life. All right? So please leave a comment if you try this and let me know how it goes. Let me know what you did. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.